Hey guys, John V from Phone Winning here. You're watching our video review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5. It's been a long time since we've seen a Super AMOLED display featured on a tablet, but it's making a big time comeback here. One of them being the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5. You love full size offering, you don't want to stick with the iPad Air, you want to go with Android. This might capture attention with its fancy looking Super AMOLED display. Although the plastic itself has a more slippery texture to it. Luckily though, with its thin like construction, it's very easy and comfortable to hold. The main attraction here, of course, is the 10.5 inch 2560 by 1600 Super AMOLED display. There's no shortage of details here thanks to the immense resolution, so even from a normal viewing distance, everything just has a nice sharp clarity to it. Sure, the color reproduction is on the oversaturated side, but regardless of that, it aids in giving it a really nice sharp glow. Good amount of iridescence, it's still visible in outdoor conditions thanks to its strong brightness output, and at the end of the day, it has that showroom wow factor to capture our attention. Just like the Galaxy S5, it features a fingerprint sensor with the home button, so it's just another added layer for protection, and it works in the same premise where we have to slide our finger over it. Of course, it's armed with the usual set of ports and buttons around its trim. So on the right side, we just have a micro USB 2.0 port, you have the micro SD card slot, you have one of the speakers. On the bottom edge, the only thing we have here is just a microphone. The left, the other speaker, and you have the 3.5mm headset jack. And finally, in the top, you'll have the physical power button, the volume control, and an IR blaster. Also in the rear, there are actually these two circular holes in the back. They work in conjunction with the various accessories that Samsung makes for the tablet. For example, you could snap on a folio cover to it. Overall, the tablet's design doesn't deviate to previous efforts by Samsung, but for a 10.5 inch tablet, it almost has the same footprint as most 10.1 inches out there. It's just nice that it has a thin and light construction and very comfortable to hold. So with the Galaxy Tab S 10.5, we're seeing the same trend from Samsung where they're not inundating us with a whole lot of redundant features. Instead, it kind of scaled it down, but in terms of the uh, visual presentation with TouchWiz running on top of the Android 4.4.2 KitKat, it doesn't deviate from previous efforts. And at this point, it's kind of lacking in comparison to some of the more modern designs of rival UIs. Despite that, we appreciate the more focused approach Samsung has with the feature set. So you have things like multi-window, something we've seen before. Essentially, we're able to get that true multitasking experience just because we could have two different applications running side by side. One really cool new feature with the tablet is SideSync 3.0. So basically, if you have a device like the Samsung Galaxy S5, you can pair it up with the tablet. And from here, you're gonna be able to access all, most of the phone's functions through your tablet. So basically, it's like an emulator. You'll see a virtual version of your handset. You could use the same things you would on the phone through the tablet. You can personalize the home screen. You can make, receive phone calls, send text messages, compose emails, and you can even play some games to an extent. But you don't have access to quite everything. For example, the camera, if you try running that, it won't let you. And there's also Paper Garden, which is a brand new magazine content provider that's preloaded with the tablet, and basically it optimizes the experience because of the Super AMOLED display. It adjusts the sharpness, the clarity, the color saturation, everything just to give it a really nice enhanced look. Beyond that, there isn't much else to say about the experience. You have also support for multiple users, so if you're in a household with kids, they could have separate profiles for each one, which is great. But the overall visual presentation, again, is kind of lacking, and it's kind of starting to become bland in comparison to its rivals. But at the same time, we like how we're not inundated with a lot of redundant features. We wouldn't say it's the most snappiest thing with its performance, just because with more processor intensive stuff, we tend to see some sluggishness with its operation. It's powered by a 1.9 gigahertz Exynos 5 Octa 5420 processor with three gigabytes of RAM. So it's serious hardware and for light gaming, it suffices, but when we start using more processor intensive stuff like the side sync or even the multi-window feature, we tend to see its performance go down a little bit. 
Our review unit here is a Wi-Fi only model and it's perfect for surfing the web just because you have fast page loads, you have smooth navigational controls, and of course that high resolution Super AMOLED display really accentuates uh, a lot of stuff. But they are gonna come out with 4G LTE once down the road. We really admire watching high definition videos on this thing. It was meant to do this just because with that super AMOLED display, it just comes to life. Performance and playback is smooth, but again, it just comes to life thanks to those saturated colors. It's eight megapixel camera suffices for most things. As long as you have plenty of sun and good lighting, you're bound to get some good looking photos. Though low lighting conditions, you'll tend to see a lot more noise and graininess. With its 7,900 milliamp hour battery, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5 easily gets us a solid one day of heavy usage from a full charge. With a $500 price tag attached to the base Wi-Fi model of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5, it obviously competes against some of the other established tablets in the space right now. So if you guys want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.5, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.